Are you still using OneDrive to collaborate with your team or clients? Or even worse, sending files back and forth to collaborate on? Well, this is okay to do once in a while. If you are doing this for longer projects or with your division, you need to switch to using SharePoint sites instead. Once set up, you'll have a portal for your team or company that you can access from anywhere and quickly collaborate on the same documents. Have links to all your team's portals, view progress on department projects, and even view the weather for each of your offices. On today's video, I'll show you an example on how to do that with a SharePoint team site. It's very easy to get started and you can be done in just a few minutes. This is Jesse Sanchez with Ultratech. Let's get started. There are two types of SharePoint sites that you can create. A communication site, which is meant for having a company-wide portal with a few authors and many viewers. The other option is a team site, which is more for departments or teams working on projects together. Sites can be shared with specific users, internal to your company, or with external users or clients. In order for you to have access to SharePoint cloud storage and services, you'll need to have a Microsoft business or an enterprise license. So now I'll show you an example of what I use. I keep it simple and we use it with our team to collaborate on documents and projects. Let's start by logging into office.com. Once you log into office.com, navigate to the top left pane and click on SharePoint, which will take us to the SharePoint section. On this section, you'll see all the sites you have created or that you have access to. For this time, let's choose Create Site since this will be our first one. Here we have the option to create a communication site or a team site. On today's example, we will choose team site. Type in your site name, such as the name of your department or your project. You should also enter a description to make it easier for your users to identify. I recommend you leave the privacy settings as private and hit next. Now here you select your team members you can always just start by adding yourself and add your members later on when you are complete with your site. After a few seconds, your site is created. The first thing we want to select is browse templates to get that out of the way. There are many nice templates such as event planning, project management, store collaboration. But for this example, we will use team collaboration. Once a template is applied, click on change the look, change the theme. Personally, I like the dark blue one, which gives you a nice dark background with white text to take it easy on the eyes. Let's hit save. Let's remove stuff we don't need by clicking edit. Let's delete the news and activity sections. Let's move the documents to the left side since this will be our main section of our site that I want all the members to see when they first log in. Now let's hit republish to save the progress we have made. Once that's saved, let's hit edit again to add two more columns, followed by add a new web part on column one. Here we want to add a new list and we drag it to our left column. This list we will use to add our 2022 projects. Now click again on add a new web part in column one. Let's select weather and drag it to the right column and let's hit republish. We now have the base design of the features we will be mostly using and all featured in the front of our page. It's very simple, but it's great to collaborate using this design. As we can see, only documents and quick links are showing because we have to add content for our list and weather sections. 
Since the weather is easy to do, let's start by adding a few sites. Let's hit edit. Under weather, let's add New York, Orlando, Sacramento, and Beijing. That's it, we are done with this section. Let's hit republish to save our progress. Now let's start adding some documents, folders, and pinning our most important documents to the top. So when our members view our site, they can quickly reach these documents. As you can see, we simply have to drag our files into documents and they get uploaded into our SharePoint site. We can create more folders to organize our site better. To move files into different folders, click on documents on the left pane, click the three little dots and move to and select the folder that you want to move this file to. Head back to home on the left pane. Let's find our budget spreadsheet and click pin to the top. And that will be the first things our users will see when logging in. Let's also pin our spreadsheets file. Now let's move on to editing our quick links, which is useful for any department to quickly have all your portal URLs in one location and quickly access them all. Let's hit edit, add links from a link, add our Verizon wireless URL and hit add. Now let's change a thumbnail and select use icon and let's search for a phone icon. Once you find that hit republish and now when people click on Verizon, a new tab will open and they will get taken to the Verizon portal. I'll just add two more samples just so you can see how the final product will look. We also want to remove the two that, that were automatically added. And that's it, we are done. Feel free to add as many links as you want. I use this for my IT team at my job and we have about 15 portals we use and it saves us tons of time. Our final section will be the list feature for showing our projects for the year 2022. For this, we will need to create the list first and then point it to our list section we created earlier. Let's go to site contents, new list, work progress tracker, and click use template. Now let's add some projects who will work on them and what start and end date they will have. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. It would mean a lot and helps YouTube know to keep showing this video to other people. We create three sample projects and now we go back to our home, click edit under our list section we can now click on Accounting Projects 2022. But when we publish this, we can see the sizing just doesn't look right. So let's edit again and let's move the weather under the portal list and expand our projects list so it has a wider view. Let's publish this and we are done. We now have our site with a nice looking dark theme, our documents section, our most important portal URLs, and our projects to quickly view the progress when you log in. You can always reach these sections from the left pane. There are also tons of more sections and pages that you can add, such as call to action, YouTube videos, image galleries, Twitter feeds, group calendars, and even third-party apps like Google Analytics. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial in creating a SharePoint team site. This is a basic example on what you can create, but feel free to try out some of the other features within SharePoint. I always like to keep things simple, so I like the design that I showed you today. 
If you're interested in more Office 365 tutorials, look at our basics of Office 365 or how to create an email domain. I will also be releasing a video on creating a communication SharePoint site. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you like it, give it a like so it can spread to other people and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, Ultratech out.